Can you power a small trolling motor from a Ryobi 40 volt battery? I searched Google and YouTube and as of today I don't see that anybody has tested this. The answer is yes, but there are some catches. What's unfortunate about this video is that I had to return the motor because it wasn't a good fit on my 12 foot V-Hull with an engine. And I plan on selling the boat anyway, so it didn't make sense to keep it. So I only have a few clips to show that it was working. It was too windy that day to really go too far out from, uh, from the dock. So here's the setup I use showing it work out of water. I'll put links in the description for the couple pieces that are needed for this. I already have three 4 amp hour Ryobi 40 volt batteries for various tools I have. Um, so what I needed was a trolling motor, a power converter, and a battery adapter. The battery adapter is a 3D printed item you can get on eBay for about $20. The battery clicks in and it has an inline fuse. I use a 40 amp fuse. For the motor, I picked the Minn Kota 30 pound thrust model because it was on clearance at my local Walmart and because it stays under 30 amps uh, when it's under load. Once you go above 30 amps, you're gonna have trouble finding a DC to DC converter for good price. Also, the Ryobi batteries aren't exactly powerhouses. Um, you're, you're only gonna get about 15 minutes at full throttle on a four amp hour battery. So a larger trolling motor drawing more power doesn't really make sense. For the power converter, I used a DC to DC golf cart converter, which accepts between 30 and 56 volts and outputs up to 30 amps at 12 volts. At 33 bucks, um, this puts powering the setup at a touch over $50. So I actually already had this because I use it in my kids' side-by-side -side Power Wheels toy. Here is one of the only clips of it in action on the water. terrible day to test this. It's way too windy. The waves are too big for this 12 foot boat, but I'm on max speed now, running off Ryobi 40 volt battery. I can get some good speed. So again, I returned the motor before I could clean it up and make something more water resistant, but it does work. And I hope somebody can probably make a better video that shows it more than, than I'm able to. Um, but thanks for watching. <laughs>